Thank you very much, please, sir. Thank you. This is, without question, the latest news conference I've ever had. We love you. We love you. I appreciate it very much. And I want to thank the American people for their tremendous support. Millions and millions of people voted for us today. And uh, a very sad group of people is trying to disenfranchise that group of people. And we won't stand for it. Yeah. I want to thank the First Lady, my entire family, and Vice President Pence, Mrs. Pence, for being with us, all three of us. And we were getting ready for a big celebration. We, we were winning everything, and all of a sudden it was just called off. The results tonight have been phenomenal, and we are getting ready. I mean, literally, we were just all set to get outside and just celebrate something that was so beautiful, so good, uh, such a vote, such a success. The citizens of this country have come out in record numbers. This is a record. There's never been anything like it. To support our incredible movement, we won states that we weren't expected to win. Florida, we didn't win it. We won it by a lot. And we won the great state of Ohio. We won Texas. We won Texas. We won Texas by 700,000 votes, and they don't even include it in the tabulations. It's also clear that we have won Georgia. Yeah. We're up by 2.5 percent, or 117,000 votes with only 7 percent left. They're never going to catch us. They can't catch us. Yeah. Likewise, we've clearly won North Carolina, yeah. where we're up 1.4 percent or 77,000 votes with only approximately 5 percent left. They can't catch us. We also, uh, if you look and you see uh, Arizona, we have a lot of life in that. And somebody said, somebody declared that it was a victory for, and maybe it will be. I mean, that's possible. But certainly there were a lot of votes out there that we could get because we're now just coming into what they call Trump territory. I don't know what you call it, but these were friendly Trump voters. And that could be overturned. The gentleman that called it, I watched tonight. He said, well, we think it's fairly unlikely that he could catch. Well, fairly unlikely. <laughs> and we don't even need it. We don't need that. That was just a state that if we would have gotten it, it would have been nice, Arizona. But there's a possibility, maybe even a good possibility. In fact, since I saw that originally, it's been changed, and the numbers have substantially come down just in a small amount of votes. So we want that, obviously, to stay in play. But most importantly, we're winning Pennsylvania by a tremendous amount of votes. We're, we're, Think of this, think of this, think of this. We're up 690,000 votes in Pennsylvania. 690,000. These aren't even close. It's not like, oh, it's close. With 64% of the vote in, it's going to be almost impossible to catch. And we're coming into good Pennsylvania areas where they happen to like your president. I mean, it's like, uh, so we'll probably expand that. Uh, we're winning Michigan by, I'll tell you, I looked at the numbers. I said, whoa. I looked, I said, wow, that's a lot. By almost 300,000 votes. And 65% of the vote is in. And we're winning Wisconsin. And I said, we're winning. We don't need all of them. We need, because when you add Texas in, which wasn't added, 
I spoke with the really wonderful governor of Texas just a little while ago, and Greg Abbott, he said, uh, congratulations. He called me to congratulate me on winning Texas. I mean, we won Texas. I don't think they finished quite the tabulation, but there's no way. And uh, it was almost complete, but he congratulated me. Then he said, by the way, what's going on? I've never seen anything like this. Can I tell you what? Nobody has. So we won by 107,000 votes with 81% of the vote. That's Michigan. So when you take those three states in particular, and you take all of the others, I mean, we have, we have so many. We had such a big night. You just take a look at all of these states that we've won tonight, and then you take a look at the kind of margins that we've won them by. And, and all of a sudden, it's not like we're up 12 votes and we have 60% left. We won states, and all of a sudden, I said, what happened to the election? It's off. And we have all these announcers saying, what happened? And then they said, oh, because you know what happened? They knew they couldn't win, so they said, let's go to court. And did I predict this, Newt? Did I say this? I've been saying this from the day I heard they were going to send out tens of millions of ballots. I said exactly because either they were going to win, or if they didn't win, they'll take us to court. So Florida was a tremendous victory, 377,000. Texas, as we said. Ohio, think of this. Ohio, a tremendous state, a big state. I love Ohio. We won by 8.1%, 461,000. Think of it. Almost 500,000 votes. North Carolina, big victory with North Carolina. And so we won there. We lead by 76,000 votes with almost nothing left. And all of a sudden, everything just stopped. This is a fraud on the American public. This is an embarrassment to our country. We were getting ready to win this election. Frankly, we did win this election. We did win this election. So our goal now is to ensure the integrity for the good of this nation. This is a very big moment. This is a major fraud in our nation. We want the law to be used in a proper manner. So we'll be going to the U.S. Supreme Court. We want all voting to stop. We don't want them to find any ballots at 4 o'clock in the morning and add them to the list, okay? It's, it's a very sad, it's a very sad moment. To me, this is a very sad moment. And we will win this. And we, as far as I'm concerned, we already have won it. So I just want to thank you. And I want to thank all of our support. I want to thank all of the people that worked with us. And uh, Mr. Vice President, say a few words, please. Please. I want to join you in, in thanking more than 60 million Americans who have already cast their vote for four more years for President Donald Trump in the White House. And while the votes continue to be counted, uh, we're going to remain vigilant, as the President said. Uh, the right to vote has been at the center of our democracy since the founding of this nation, and we're going to protect the integrity of the vote. But I really believe with all of my heart, with the extraordinary margins, Mr. President, that you've inspired in the states that you just described uh, and the way that you launched this movement across the country to make America great again, uh, I truly do believe, as you do, that we are on the road to victory and we will make America great again, again. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much. America great again, again. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much,
आप सुन रहे थे डोनाल्ड ट्रंप को जीत का दावा वो कर रहे हैं लेकिन अगर आपने उनकी स्पीच गौर से सुनी हो तो उन्होंने ये कहा कि जो दूसरा खेमा है यानी जो बाइडेन का खेमा उनकी टीम वो हमारे करीब तक नहीं है यानी हम एक तरफा मुकाबला जीत रहे हैं लेकिन दूसरी तरफ आपको हम आंकड़े भी लगातार दिखा रहे हैं कि किस तरह से ये तस्वीर जो है अभी उसमें जो बाइडेन आगे दिखाई दे रहे हैं लेकिन यहाँ पर खास तौर पर जिक्र करना होगा जॉर्जिया का जिसको लेकर डोनाल्ड ट्रंप अब तक साइलेंट थे जबकि इससे पहले जो बाइडन ने जब स्टेटमेंट दिया तो उन्होंने ये कहा था कि पेंसिल्वेनिया जॉर्जिया यहाँ पर उन्होंने अच्छा परफॉर्म किया है विस्कॉन ये वो स्टेट्स हैं जहां पर वो आगे निकलने वाले हैं लेकिन ट्रंप भी अब कुछ ऐसा ही दावा कर रहे हैं अब देखना ये होगा कि वाकई ये वो स्टेट्स जो तस्वीर और तकदीर बदल सकते हैं अमेरिका की यहां पर क्या होने वाला है दोनों ही खेमे अपने अपने दावों के साथ अपने सपोर्टर्स के बीच पहुंचे लेकिन डोनाल्ड ट्रंप ने यह जरूर कहा कि उन्हें अपनी जीत का पूरा भरोसा है और अब अलग अलग स्टेट्स में जिन एक्सपर्ट्स से उनकी बात हुई है जो वहां पर काउंटिंग को कंडक्ट भी कर रहे हैं उन्होंने ये कहा है कि एक तरफा मुकाबला है कोई चिंता की बात ही नहीं है लेकिन देखना यह होगा कि फाइनल नतीजे अमेरिका की तकदीर क्या तय करते हैं एक बार फिर सुनिए डोनाल्ड ट्रंप ने किस तरह से अपने सपोर्टर्स को शुक्रिया कहा और कहा कि आपने मेरे लिए वोट किया इसलिए मैं शुक्रगुजार हूं जीतेंगे हम भी and we were getting ready for a big celebration oh, yeah. Yeah. we we were winning everything and all of a sudden it was just called off the results tonight have been phenomenal and we are getting ready i mean literally we were just all set to get outside and just celebrate something that was so beautiful so good uh, such a vote such a success the citizens of this country have come out in record numbers this is a record there's never been anything like it to support our incredible movement we won states that we weren't expected to win florida we didn't win it we won it by a lot and we won the great state of ohio we won texas we won texas We won Texas by 700,000 votes and they don't even include it in the tabulations. It's also clear that we have won Georgia. Yeah. We, we're up by 2.5% or 117,000 votes with only 7% left. They're never going to catch us. They can't catch us. Yeah. Likewise, we've clearly won North Carolina. Where we're up 1.4 percent, or 77,000 votes, with only approximately 5 percent left, they can't catch us. We also, uh, if you look and you see uh, Arizona, we have a lot of life in that. And somebody said, somebody declared that it was a victory for, and maybe it will be. I mean, that's possible, but certainly there were. a lot of votes out there that we could get because we're now just coming into what they call Trump territory I don't know what you call it but these were friendly Trump voters and that could be overturned the gentleman that called it I watched tonight he said well we think it's fairly unlikely that he could catch well fairly unlikely <laughs> and we don't even need it we don't need that that was just a state that if we would have gotten it it would have been nice Arizona but there's a possibility maybe even a good possibility in fact since i saw that originally it's been changed and the numbers have substantially come down just in a small amount of votes so we want that obviously to stay in play but most importantly we're winning pennsylvania by a tremendous amount of votes 